Hey, it's Dan Blewett. Um, today's August 7th, 2013, and this marks the 365 days later mark um, of this Tommy John Chronicles. So, 39 installments later, um, I'm at the basically the point where there is no exercise restrictions. Um, I'm going to see my doc in two weeks, or actually a week and a half, for my final follow-up. Hopefully get cleared and be done with workers' comp and all that sort of stuff. Um, so this is a good uh, good milestone, obviously, and I figured I'd expound on some of the things that have gotten me here, um, as well as what's going on and where I'm going. So past year's been really good. Um, it's been probably the best year of my life, um, despite this injury and the obviously the crushing blow that it dealt to my career. Um, and that's simply because I had a lot of great people around me. My business has been amazing. And me being able to turn my focus away from myself onto the kids that I train has just been a godsend. Um, September through March, super busy. You know, and end of January into all of February, didn't get a single day off. You know, watching, catching bullpens seven days a week, um, and still mixing in strength training. And then, uh, obviously, March, April, May are my downtime. I got to write and finish two different books. Um, one I think is going to be on the back burner for a while, and the other one in my pitching is a complicated book. Um, we're really moving to hopefully get completed in the next month. The text is done. we got to do a lot of photos and illustrations. So it's been a busy year, and this past summer with summer camps and all that stuff, um, I've been busy, which has kept my mind off You know, the woe is me aspect of it. So it's, it's been really good from that. So um, the mental... Uh, time, the second time around, the mental aspect of it has been much, much easier because I've had so much going on um, and so many other things bringing me happiness that I haven't really worried about myself. Now, uh, my parents were in town this past weekend. We discussed, you know, my career and all that sort of stuff. And um, I don't really consider myself a professional baseball player as my first job anymore, even if and when I make it to the major leagues when I'm done all of this. Um, I don't. I, I'm not. I'm not gonna have a ten-year career. In all likelihood, I'm gonna have a couple-year career. Um, enjoy it. Learn all the secrets of some of the world's best players, and bring that knowledge back home and continue to share it in a in a digestible, manageable way to the young kids that I that I care about. So, I consider myself a strength coach and a pitching instructor, um, and a teacher of baseball first, and of sports and of competitiveness and of confidence first. Um, and I consider myself a, a, a ball player second nowadays. That that shift happened about sometime last year, and I still love the game. I still have my own goals. I still want to get up the mountain, but not because I want to get super rich and famous and you know move to France in the off season or something and um, do drugs and supermodels or whatever you do when you have millions of dollars and nothing to do. I don't know. Um, I just want to do it because I know I can do it and. When all is said and done, I'll have hopefully a comfortable amount of money in the bank account so I don't have to worry about things, but that's the only thing that's really going to provide me. That and new knowledge to come back and, and teach to um, the kids that enrich my life. So that's me personally and where I've grown, I guess, in this last year. So I go forth. Um, I guess the next aspect of this is where I'm going. Um, I'm going to try to pitch in the next month. That's my goal right now and that's sort of my prize in all this right now because after that month I won't return to baseball again unless I can consistently throw averaging 96 or above because there's just no no reason to come back other than that um, obviously I love the game I love to keep playing and I love the competitiveness even at that level um, but I'm not going to leave all of this for independent ball any longer so that's where I'm going um, and then right now, the steps that I need to take to get there, my elbow is in good shape. Um, my velocity is in good shape. I've been up to 94 in a couple of adult league games, which is my previous lifetime high. And my elbow, I've been out there for four total innings. So um, my arm is starting to bounce back more. My curveball has been very, very good. My chain-up has been good. I haven't been able to throw in as much um, in adult league games. Um, and so right now... It's a process of pitch tuning, and it feels exactly the same as any other season. You know, whereas in March, April, I'm getting ready to go back out. 
I'm teaching myself to throw my curveball as hard as I can, my changeup as hard as I can, my fastball as hard as I can. So right now, I'm great at throwing my fastball as hard as I can. Um, I'm not so great at throwing my curveball as hard as I can. Lo looking at videos of myself, I'm clearly easing off at a couple miles per hour, which is a problem. Um, my changeup is a little bit better, but it's still in the same boat. I just need to get both those pitches up. And you know, my curveball needs to be in the 13 to 15 mile per hour off range. So if I'm 90 to 95, that curveball needs to be in the um, 77, 77 to 82 range is where I want it. So um, chain or curveball change up for me historically has been somewhere in the five to eight, six or five, six to eight range slower. I throw a hard change up that sinks pretty heavily. Um, I'm I'm in like the eight to ten range right now. I gotta throw the thing harder. So that's where I'm at right now. As far as me being a pitcher, my control has been good. Like everything is exactly as it was last year preseason. Um, the only other thing I'm dealing with is my elbow reacts more. So when I throw as hard as I can for an inning, you know, getting a game on Sunday, throwing a lot on Monday is not great. Um, pitching again on Tuesday right now is an impossibility. So I need to get to my I get to the point where I can pitch Monday, I can pitch Wednesday, I can pitch Friday. And then I can have a day rest, and I can pitch Sunday, then I can pitch Monday. Because um, I'm going to come back as a reliever, as of right now. So I have to be able to get my arm to bounce back. So that's the struggle right now. Um, my elbow's healed. Whether I have little bits of pain or not, I don't care. It's not a big deal. My elbow's healed. It's 12 months later. I'm clear to do whatever I, whatever I want, essentially. Um, at this point, if it's not completely healed, it's never going to be healed. And it's, it's healed. I would not be able to throw as hard as I do um, if it wasn't good to go. So... That said, there's going to be aches and pains for the next four or five months. It's not going to level off and be like old lefty here um, for quite some time still. I'm going to have pain. I'm going to have discomfort and all that sort of nonsense. Um, but I'm not going to pay much heed to it. I'm not going to push myself. Obviously, if it's killing and it's lingering, that's different. But when I go out there and I'm warming up and my elbow hurts a little bit, big deal. I'm going out there anyway. Um, if I'm in the game and it hurts a little bit big deal finishing anyway so that's where you have to get through that's one of the obstacles for people who are a little less mentally a little less mental fortitude I guess one of my buddies in college didn't handle that very well and uh, he didn't recover um, fully he never reached his prior level of ability because he just didn't want to hit the gas pedal when it hurt so um, those are the challenges in the near future and then obviously beyond that I'm going to experiment on myself with a lot of methods that I have been toying around with in pursuit of upper 90s or bust, literally. So my scar, 12 months later, it's getting pretty light. It's uh, it's a light pink now. It's not really red. Um, my wrist scars right here. And, uh, where are you? Right there. Pretty light. It's hard to see in this um, crappy uh, webcam. So that's uh, pretty much the update. Um, I'm going to continue to lift heavy. I've enjoyed that for the last year. Um, broke some personal records that I've held for a long time. And um, just going to keep grinding on. So my advice for anyone going through this, and I hope this, um, this series of videos continues to help a lot of kids and men alike going through the surgery because it's scary. And if you hold your career in high esteem like I do, hold, you know, hold it close to your heart. Um, it's an emotional, tough time. So hopefully this has helped a lot of people and will continue to do so in the future. Um, so and I appreciate everyone who's been out there supporting this project and asking uh, thoughtful questions and just leaving positive comments on my, uh, on my videos. It, it is appreciated. So um, continue. To use me as a resource that's why I did this so if you need to feel you need to email me um, go for it if you need to leave a comment on YouTube I've been pretty good about responding to them um, hey made it a year let's see how many more we can go right grind on <laughs>